All right. Hey, how y'all doing? Now, I told you we were gonna come here and visit at the Earl Theater, and we couldn't have a better guest than my good friend, Jenny Lowry. Uh, she is everything WPAQ, all about the heritage music, music, and we're gonna talk about, see, I told you my mouth don't work right ever since I ate at Snappy Lunch. It's just, just <laughs> all up in here, up inside my head and mouth, it's delicious. So we're gonna talk about some serious stuff here, yeah. some old timey music, wonderful stuff, and uh, I couldn't have a better guide to help us than my good friend, Jenny Lowry. Well, thank you, Norm. Yeah. I'm yeah. a pleasure to meet y'all and uh, happy to be here at the Earl Theater. I'm actually here every week of my life on Saturday. Uh, I host the second longest continuously running radio broadcast, second only to the Grand Ole Opry, and that's WPAQ's uh, Saturday morning merry-go-round where we feature two uh, regional or local traditional musical acts on the stage here at the Earl and we broadcast it all over on our website and also over the airwaves on the FM and AM. So you want to come inside come and see in. the I'll, Earl Theater? Let me hold the door open for you. Jody's been telling me I've been getting some gentleman lessons so. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Uh, well I guess we can start with the man. Yes, this is in addition to being a, a, a movie theater where we do show current films, yeah. uh, but we also have the Old Time Music Heritage Hall here, and so we have a feature about some of the Heritage Award winners here in the trophy case, as well as on the, the walls here of the theater. And uh, a lot of these folks are, well, all of these folks are extremely important to Surrey County, which is the county we're in here in Mount Airy, with their contributions to old time music. Uh, we have also an, an exhibit next door that we'll show you here in just a minute that's about women in old time music. But Surrey County music is on the map all over the planet uh, for the specific style of old time music that kind of generated here. And uh, really with, this gentleman, Tommy Jarrell, he is um, known all over the world. His instrument is in the Smithsonian Institution, along with the gentleman to his right there, Fred Cockrum. And during the folk revival, they uh, were sought out by people from all over who would come to Mount Airy and uh, learn music, especially from Tommy. And uh, he's passed away down, he passed away in 1985. But this, uh, this part of the theater is dedicated to them. And all the folks on the, on the wall here are uh, North Carolina Folk Heritage Award winners and uh, Brown Hudson Folk Folklore Award winners. This is uh, Paul Sutphin, he's actually my cousin. Um, but some of these folks are known, like I said, worldwide, especially Tommy Gerald and Fred Cochran, but the other folks as well for their, their style of, of old time music. And you'll see there on the, on the other side, Benton Flippin and Ralph Epperson. Ralph Epperson was the, the founder of Mount Airy's first radio station, WPAQ. And he originally started his station to promote the talent of the area. So he uh, grew up in Patrick County, Virginia, which is just over the state line. And uh, Mount Airy in the late 1940s did not have a radio station. And he is a young man. Uh, wanted to build a radio station, so with the help of his parents, uh, he did that on Springs Road, and we've been going for 75 years. And the merry-go-round program actually was in existence right from the get-go of the radio station, and we still do that every week, have live music performed. Uh, it has been for many years at the radio station, and then back downtown uh, as of 19, in the 1990s, and we do that each week, so folks can come in, they can get a taste of traditional old time or bluegrass or gospel music. We do that each week from Saturdays from 11.30, 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. And we do have a live theater audience. And, and you're gonna be here. Uh, you guys are gonna get to come and be our guests and watch uh, Miss Jenny up here hosting the show and, and whipping those musicians into, into shape, <laughs> making sure. And uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. I mean, th those of you that um, aren't necessarily uh, aware of this type of venue, uh, this, this whole thing reminds me of that movie, Brother, Where Art Thou? Oh yeah. You know, like cause you're gonna have a nice uh, on the air sign come on, you're gonna have the band. And I just love to come in and sneak in and sit in the back on Saturdays when I get a chance just to see some great new talent and uh, it's a wonderful thing. We have a lot of groups on that are have um, 
their family members play, a lot of family groups and uh, multi-generational. To me, that's very, very special to me because I love old people. I'm starting to be an old person now, though. <laughs> so I don't know if anybody loves me or not, but... We but, all love you. Come on. <laughs> but uh, anyways, and uh, all of these folks, like I said, have all passed away now. The last one uh, was Verlin Clifton. He was the last one of the people here uh, to pass away. His death date has not been put put down yet. And then next to him, you'll see Clyde Johnson, who was the longtime host of the merry-go-round. There really have only been about five hosts. And uh, he was on, on the, on the merry-go-round as a host for many, many, many years. I would say 30 plus years. And uh, I came around a, a little while after that. He passed away in 2007. And I, I, I need to find out how long I've been here because I really can't tell you. But I do it every week, and I love it. I love old-time music, love bluegrass music. And a lot of the folks that come in, this is part of the ticket uh, to get into the Andy Griffith Museum. So if you're coming on a Saturday and you pay for the Andy Griffith Museum, which is also wonderful, this is part of that ticket, the live music. So it takes place each and every week. Um, we don't, uh, sometimes like it's right now, I'm still looking for a group because I had somebody to cancel. But it's, um, we don't always know way far in advance who's going to be here. But, uh, but it's going to be good. It will be good, and we will have a good time. And um, it's always, uh, it makes me happy when someone comes in for the first time and says, well, I, wow, I don't know, well, what is this? That's one of the things that we get sometimes because they're not familiar. Uh, if you're in Tennessee, you know about string music. But if somebody's from far off from here, a lot of times they are not familiar with this kind of music at all. So uh, I had an experience like that earlier this, this summer where some folks came in, and I, I don't even remember where they were from, but it was just a duo, but top-notch old-time folk singing. And when they... The, the brothers, the twin brothers. They, well, I don't know that they're twins. Were they tw I thought they were twins. I was here for that. They were twins. good. I think the folk music... Oh, wait a minute. You're talking about the... I do know who you're talking about, and they're actually triplets. They're triplets. That's Yeah, right. or like triplets. a twin and a guy. But yeah, they were from Shh. Tennessee, I think. But anyway, yeah. it was not that group. It was another group. They were outstanding. But people were like, what is that singing? I've never heard it. Of course, they didn't say it like that. But they... <laughs> they 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 thought, wow, what is that? I mean, I've never heard anything like that before. So that's special to me when somebody gets a taste of what our our music is here. You know, I, one of my favorite things to do when I get company coming to visit, because you all know I ain't from around here, but I got here as soon as I could. <laughs> that's my story. I'm sticking to it. I will on Saturdays if I got company. <laughs> I started to say <laughs> no I, comment. No comment. <laughs> but I, when I when I have company I come in, I like to sneak them down here and go. Come on, I'm going to show you something special. And we'll just slip in the back, sit in the back, and they just, I watch them. Jaws open, sitting there watching the whole experience. How professional you are, how well you handle that, mm -hmm. as well as the level of the musicianship on that stage. And they sit there and they go, does this happen every day? And I said, well, just on Saturdays. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so good. It's unbelievable. Yeah. It is. It really is. And, and it's people that are not professionals i mean they're people that work jobs every week and a lot of times they're you know some of them may be elderly also or with a grandchild those things are to me it's priceless to be able to see that so now can people find you on the internet to listen they can wpaq740.com that is our website we also have a youtube channel and it's wpaq radio station so you can search for us there as well and we when we don't have technical difficulties, we also put the merry-go-round live on YouTube. So there's videos on there that they can watch? Yes. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. And also you can find us online, um, excuse me, locally at 7.40 a.m. 106.7 FM in Mount Airy, the Granite City. We're going to go out and see Kelly tomorrow oh, out cool. at the station. So okay. uh, we'll get to look at that magic microphone. Awesome. Yeah. Well, can we walk over next door to the uh, Absolutely. To it's your, it's your, uh, it's your show. So something else that we do here at the Earl Theater um, is we give free music lessons to children every Thursday. Uh, also, flatfoot instruction is offered for all ages of people. In other words, if somebody wants to bring their grandchild we have a, a, a young man Darius Flowers that does um, clogging and flat footing and he will 
uh, show people how to flat foot. That's available for free every week of the year on Thursday. Now, if it's Thanksgiving, we ain't doing it, okay? But most Thursdays, almost all of them, we have that here. And then after that, Mr. Vipperman, he teaches free instrumental music lessons for young people. And that is done through the Surrey Arts Council who owns this beautiful venue. And they do have concessions here. And as you can see, we've got uh, some old time music available for purchase if uh, people are interested in that. We also have um, an old time music retreat that takes place during the Mountary Fiddlers Convention. So if folks, maybe they already play music and they're, they Google this and they're like, I wanna learn that. Well, you can come to the Mountary Fiddlers Convention and a lot of times they have um, workshops during that and that's also brought to you by the Arts Council and normally we have popcorn popped and we have the best popcorn in the state of North Carolina. Well cool. here's a great example of flat footing right here and see folks there in, uh, in the home just having a dance and some of the folks that are on the, uh, the Heritage Hall are there playing. This is actually Tommy Gerald's sister and this exhibit here, uh, it has a couple different uh, features that play. One of them is, um, well, I think there's actually three different ones about of Tommy Gerald that play revolving. In addition to that, uh, we have this beautiful um, call letters of our station, and this is like what the front of the radio station looks like, which y'all will see tomorrow. And folks can come over here and enjoy this exhibit. And there's um, information about the merry-go-round and about women in old-time music. This is the, the newest exhibit here. And so we have some folks, some ladies featured that on back up until, uh, actually, I'm going to say uh, one, the oldest one would be born in 1840. And their contribution to old-time music, whether they were ever recorded or not, but maybe they passed down their craft to a, a, a child or a grandchild. And then you can see here also, um, Mount Airy is the, the home of Donna Fargo. The happiest girl in the whole USA. That's right, happiest girl in the whole Funny USA. Funny face. She yes. was just here uh, 4th of July to, uh, we're gonna show you the, her uh, mural a little bit uh, later, but she was here to cut the ribbon for the mural and uh, I have to say, the first time I ever met her, she is one of the nicest, oh, most yeah. gentle souls you ever want to meet. Kind, remembers your name, talented. Um, we're just blessed to have her yes. still around visiting with us. Yeah, definitely. All right, well, thank you so much, Jenny, for thank all your knowledge and thank sharing everything with us here. Uh, 1932 Earl Theater. Uh, come on by. Uh, Saturday morning is going to be WPAQ's merry-go-round, yeah. and I got a feeling we might have a little backstage action going on there to see how that works. You think maybe we can do we that? We can probably arrange that. Yeah, All we'd right. love to see y'all. It sounds good. All right, we're heading down to our next stop. See y'all later. They will be at the Autumn Leaves Festival Bandstand uh, next Friday at 2.50. Right now, we're going to take a quick break of the news and change things up and bring up the Nun Brothers. And we'll have another uh, great hour and a half of music with you today until 1.30 p.m. here live from the stage of the Earl Theater. So right now, we'll send things back to you, Scout Hughes, for a quick look at news and weather. And then we'll be back with more on the merry-go-round. You're listening to the voice of the Blue Ridge. This is AM740 WPAQ. Saturday morning merry-go-round broadcast live from the historic Earl Theater here on the voice of the Blue Ridge so welcome back and uh, right now without further ado let's formally welcome our second guests and uh, thank you so much for coming kind of at the last minute so let's make a welcome to the stage for part two of today's program the Nun Brothers <laughs> <laughs> 